Praise the Lord, my brothers and sister. It's Sister Judy coming tonight. May God keep us always. And tonight, I'm just going to read a scripture to you. And this scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians 13. 1 Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, and become as a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. And though I have the gifts of prophecy and understand all mystery and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountain and have not charity, I am nothing. Um, this is a scripture that really rests on my heart this night. As I was reading it, the Lord was showing me the things that we as Christians need to know about charity, meaning love. We can continue to read all of 1 Corinthians 13 to the end. When we look at love, there are four stages of love. And we as the believers that are walking in the spirit, we must aim to walk to the highest one, which is the agape love. And as our brothers and sisters that are not walking in the agape love yet, for those of us that are walking in it, we need to have mercy we need to show grace unto them. We need to understand that people that are not walking in the agape love will not be able to do the things that we would expect them to do. And this is where we, as the believer, that are walking in the agape love, need to stretch forth our hands and hold them because you got to understand the other stages of love when they reach out to us and give that love to us we have to understand if they are giving us a brotherly love or they are giving us a sexual love we have to understand that most people do not understand the agape love and sometimes we with the agape love must understand that people who are not walking in that love does not understand it at all times. And sometimes you go around people and when you reach out to them with love, they do not understand why you love them the way you love them or why you in turn give them that agape love when they only understand the brotherly love and some only understand the sexual love. But I've come to see it in a different form when the Lord is showing it to me. And when people are reaching out to us and telling us that they love us, we have to understand that they're not going to love us if they're not walking in the agape love. So we that are walking in the agape love, we must accept the love that they are giving us. I'm not saying that you're going to reject what they are letting you understand. What I'm trying to say, we have to be careful when people are reaching out to us and showing us love we in turn reject it and then we can automatically hurt someone and we don't even realize what we are doing or we can hurt a lot of people because they expect us to love the way Jesus love and we have to understand that we have to understand how to love and it's not everyone is going to be at the spot to love in the agape love. 
We cannot love in the agape love until we have gone through a whole lot. Until we have gone through the pressing stage. It doesn't matter what we think. When you're not finished pressing or God is not true um, bringing you to that level that he wants you, you cannot understand the agape love. You, t you need to take a good look at Peter. Even though Peter was walking with the Lord for so long, and when it came down to the end, where they said unto Peter, you were with him, Peter denied God. we got to understand Peter denied Jesus, not because he didn't love him, but Peter was not walking in that agape love. So this is why when the Lord came to him, he said, Peter, will you feed my sheep? And he asked Peter three times, do you love me? Because the Lord was trying to say to Peter, when you love me the way you're supposed to love me, you will lay down your life. You will give up everything and you will allow others to come to me and you will allow others to lead you to a place to take your life for my sake. So when we talk about charity, when we talk about that love, when we talk about denying self, not pleasing ourselves, because a whole lot of people cannot love because what they want in return, it's something to please themselves. It's not something to please God. It's something that make their flesh happy. No. If you are at that stage where you, you only think about what makes you happy, you are not walking in the agape love. And in these last days, we need to be walking in the agape love. If we are not walking in the agape love, we are going to get ourselves in trouble. For those that God wants to bring out into the kingdom at this time, if you're not walking in the agape love, you will not be able to move in the kingdom the way the Lord wants you to move in his kingdom. As I was reading this this night, it came so, so, so heavy on me. And the Lord told me to look at love. And we are missing the love that God is giving unto us. I was looking at, at the, the, the word the Lord gave me today as I was reading about an intercessor or gatekeeper. There are a lot of us missing the intercessor or gatekeepers. And those are the people God put in line to help us. They are the one that God allow to bring you in at a certain level God will use an intercessor that is a gatekeeper to test you and to see if you are ready for what you say you are ready for I want you all to understand something when you are an intercessor or gatekeeper, the Lord will give you the seal. He will give you that ring and he will tell you, I want you to keep a close eye and I want you to tell me if you fail this person or if you pass them. An intercessor gatekeeper can be overlooked because it's not who people expect to be keeping the gate. And there's a lot of people that are failing because when the intercessor gatekeeper get a job, they are going to watch very closely. And there's going to be a lot of people that are failing. 
I'm going to leave that one day I'll get deep into what a gatekeeper intercessor is supposed to do. I was watching something today because there was a person the Lord allowed me to be keeping. And when it came down to the end, I was not happy. Because if you are not ready, you cannot go through the gate. Because you're going to hurt a lot of God people. You're not going to be, you're not knowing how to be gentle. Because you're just puffed up in your own self. Wanting things that please you. You're not thinking about the kingdom of God. You do not know how to accept your brothers on different levels of loves and your sister. Oh God, help us. Help us this day, oh God, help us. Help us to understand charity. Help us to understand your love. Help us, Father, to know that when you're teaching us, you're teaching us for a reason and for a purpose. That we do not hurt your people. And that we keep them. And that we show them the path that you want them to go. And I'm going to leave it here tonight. Understand love. And the greatest gift of all is when we understand the power of love. In Jesus' name. I say amen.